Hi everyone, Atio has just released AI Attributes, which will be a game changer for many go-to-market teams. Atio's AI Attributes has four powerful capabilities. The research agent, automatically research anything about a company or product. Instead of having to spend minutes or even hours digging into this info, the research agent will do it for you. Classify records. You can intelligently categorize and tag records based on the context you store in Atio. Summarize records. You can digest complex records instantly. Turn dozens of attributes into clear, actionable summaries that capture key points. Prompt completion. Create AI attributes to answer specific questions about your data. So instead of spending hours researching, categorizing, switching between tools, and manually inputting this information, you now have Atio's powerful AI agents directly in your workspace, in your lists, records, and views. In this video, I'm going to walk you through examples for each capability so you can see it in action. Let's get started. Okay, so the first one I'm going to start with is the research agent prompt. And let's say I want to research annual revenue for the companies in my workspace. I'm in the companies object here and I'm going to go ahead and create an attribute. It's going to be research agent and the prompt is going to be find estimates of the company's annual revenue for the most recent fiscal year. And the more specific you are with these prompts, the better, of course. And with things like annual revenue, I have to give this a name, with things like annual revenue, um, the larger the company, the more information and data there is on the company, the more likely the AI agent is going to find uh, this information for you. So just keep this in mind. Create attribute. And I'm gonna go back to my list here and you can see, you know, these are all pretty large companies. So it's very likely it's going to find the annual revenue. Now I'm just gonna add this column here, annual revenue, and I'm going to go ahead and click this and recalculate values with AI, confirm. Okay, so as you can see, it's calculated most of these. It wasn't able to find the annual revenue for Sneaks. Sneaks is a, is a relatively new company by uh, Sarah Blakely. But of course, it was able to find Upwork, Canva, Calendly, and Tesla's annual revenue estimates. So that's great. Okay, so the next one I'm going to show you is the classify records. So I'm in the people object. Let's say I want to classify people into specific departments or teams based on their job titles. Now remember, with the classify records, it's only pulling from the information that you have in Atio. So for example, if I don't have someone's job title, it's not going to correctly classify their department, if at all. So just keep that in mind, but I'm gonna go ahead and create the attribute and I'm gonna do classify records and department is what I'm going to name it. I'm going to create some options here. So marketing, operations, you know, tech, finance, and um, sales. Cool. And now I'm going to tell the AI agent what to do. So classify job titles into departments. For example, software engineer to engineering, marketing manager to marketing. And again, as you know, the more specific you are in these prompts, the better. And I'm gonna allow AI to generate new options. You don't have to toggle this on if you don't want to, but I'm fine with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and create the attribute. Okay, perfect. So now I'm back in my people. I'm gonna add this column here, department. And I'm gonna go ahead and recalculate values of AI. It is thinking. 
Okay, this is looking really good. So with this Kayla person, let's pretend it's not me. Uh, I put the job title as VP of marketing and it correctly classified it into the marketing department. Tim Cook, I put him as a CFO and it's giving finance as a department, which is accurate. Melanie Perkins, I had her as a CEO, operations. Jane Cook, I had her as a sales manager and it classified her into sales. And then Sarah Blakely, I had her as a CEO and uh, I classified her as operations. And Bob Smith, engineer, and it correctly classified him into tech. So this is great. Okay, so the next one I'm going to show you is summarize records. I'm in my deals object, and let's say I want to create an attribute that summarizes my deals. So I'm going to name this deal summary, summarize record, and my prompt is going to be uh, generate a concise overview of deal status, um, blockers, or objections, and oops and any next steps. Create attribute, perfect. And I'm just gonna go in my deals now and I can just show you this here. I'm gonna add a row. Maybe I wanna have my deal summary right here so I can have it handy. And I'm going to just do that there. And now, this is a test account, so it's not going to pull in a lot of information, but you can see it's already pulled in some information. So it says, this deal is currently at the discovery call completed stage. There are no noted blockers or objections at this time. Next step should focus on progressing this conversation based on uh, insights gained from the discovery call. And you know, similar thing here. Obviously, the more information you have in Atio, the better. Again, this is a test account, so it, it can't just make things up. It's going to give you what it sees in Atio. Okay, so the last one is prompt completion. Let's say I want to create an attribute that tells me how engaged a potential client is, specifically on the deal side, so that I'm able to accurately evaluate how strong a deal is, the potential of a deal, deal score, et cetera. So again, I'm in my deals object and I'm going to create this attribute here and it's going to be prompt completion engagement level. Okay, so based on recent communications, how engaged is this client? Okay, create attribute. Now I'm gonna go back to my deals and I'm just gonna add a card row so we can just see it here. And I'm gonna recalculate, recalculate. Okay, so for this person, it's saying moderately engaged. This makes sense because I've had some communication with the email that's on this record just for testing purposes. So this makes sense. And then with this one, it says, this client is moderately engaged as they have completed the discovery call and there are no documented blockers or objections. This also makes sense. So obviously I haven't been in touch with this Tim Cook person. This is a, a, a test account but it's telling me that it seems like the client is moderately engaged. You know, we're in the discovery call completed stage. There hasn't been any major notes here, no major ob objections that we've noted in Atio. So it seems like the client is moderately engaged. And I think this makes perfect sense. This seems very accurate to me. So this is super neat and I'm really excited about this feature. Hope you're as excited as I am about Atio's AI attributes after watching this video. As I mentioned earlier on, I think this is a game changer for go-to-market teams. Atio is really focused on reimagining the CRM for the AI era and building AI as part of its foundation. And this is just the beginning. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like these videos. And if you have questions or need more one-on-one -on -one help, feel free to leave a comment or reach out to me directly. My email's in the description. Thanks for watching.